Hi everybody, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by in today's video. We're gonna do an incline test on a super steep incline with all of the golden technologies buzz around mobility scooters. So stay tuned to the end, you're not gonna to wanna to miss out on the results. Before we get started, I do wanna tell you about our free catalog. If you want a copy, it's free. It has super secret discount codes in it and our latest and greatest products. Just go to our website, mobilitydirect.com, click on the green button at the top of every page that says free catalog, fill out the simple short form, and you'll get one in the mail within one to two weeks tops. You can also just click right there to get to the form. It's really easy to do it that way or call our non-commissioned sales experts. They'd love to hear from you. So again, we're gonna go ahead and test all of these buzz around scooters on this hill, which in my calculations guesstimate is probably around 15 to 20% grade. And most mobility scooters can handle about a six degree incline, which is about a little bit steeper than your typical access ramp for a wheelchair. So most of them can handle pretty steep inclines, but nothing like this. We're gonna see which ones can, which ones can't. If you own one of these, let us know how it handles for you. We wanna know the pros, the cons, what you like, what you don't like about it. And we reply to every single comment within one business day. So if you have a question, post it in the comments below. So we're gonna start off with the Buzz Around LX. I'm pretty confident that the Buzz Around LX is gonna do well because it's the most heavy duty Buzz Around they make. If you wanna learn more about this scooter, go to our full in-depth review video. We take this thing all over the place and we test it out on some pretty hardcore land. So it's making it up the hill pretty well. I would recommend the four-wheel version, which is gonna be even more stable. However, the three-wheel version has more legroom and it turns sharper. So the Buzz Around LX handled the hill pretty well. If you wanna see that full in-depth review video, click right there, it'll take you right through it. Now you may have noticed that I didn't go all the way to the top of the hill because there's actually a road right at the end of the hill and I don't wanna to get too close to the road and distract people that are driving. It's also really, really steep towards the top and you'd probably want something a little heavier duty if you're gonna go up hills that are that steep. But as far as a 15 degree to possibly 20 degree incline, the LX did very well. Now I'm gonna test out the Buzz Around EX. It's also going to be a really heavy duty option. This has the bumper guard kit, which is an upgrade. It's a three wheel, but you can get it in a four wheel. Same thing applies. The three wheel turns a little sharper and has more leg room. Now the Buzz Around Extreme, I know from experience is a tough mobility scooter. I've tested it out, but it did not do as well as the LX. However, there is a little bit of sand here so I'm gonna retest it away from the sand and see how we do, because the Buzz Around Extreme is very similar to the LX, only the LX can handle a little bit more weight. The LX is rated at a 375 pound weight capacity. The Extreme is rated for 350 pounds. So it made it about just as high as the LX. As I mentioned towards the topic, it's super steep and you probably want to consider something like the Eagle HD, which is another golden technology scooter, only that thing is built with a super powerful motor and it's just built for stuff like that. This one can handle pretty well for a guy that's about 215 pounds, almost six foot tall, such as myself, so keep that in mind. Now I skipped over the XLS HD, so we're gonna do this one next. We have an in-depth review video for this one as well. It can hold up to 325 pounds, comes apart, just like the other ones did, only this comes apart into five pieces. The LX and the EX come apart into six pieces because the battery boxes, it's two of them. This one only has one, and the heaviest piece is gonna be right over 30 pounds. So it's pretty awesome. Click right there to see the review video of this one to learn more about it. Let's see how it does on the incline here. This has a really small motor, and it's not meant for going off-road, okay? So it just tripped out there. And basically, you know, it's either gonna pop the circuit breaker if I keep doing that to protect the motor from overheating, but this is really not meant for going off road. If you wanna go on a short patch of grass just to get from one side of a sidewalk to another, that's fine as long as the grass is not wet and it's maintained. This will ride around on the flat grass pretty well, but going up an incline on grass and I'm about 220 pounds, it's not, it's not performing the way you would expect it to. Now, if you weigh less, you know, cargo or your, your weight of yourself is closer to the maximum capacity, it's gonna perform even worse. 
For those of you that are lighter than 220 pounds, it might perform better going on grass and up small hills. Always be careful, especially with the three wheel models though, because they can tip over if you're not careful on uneven terrain. All right, so the next scooter we're gonna test is basically the same as the XLS HD, only this is the XL version, which means it's not gonna be as heavy duty. It can only hold 300 pounds and there's no suspension. That's what the S and the HD at the end of XL stands for. So the XL and the XLS HD are almost identical. You can get it in a three wheel or a four wheel. We're using the three wheel models for these tests because that's what we have available to us at this time. But let's see what happens. And there you have it. It's it's it just bottled out so it can't do it anymore and i don't want to keep giving it power because that's how you can damage your product and it's just going to overheat and possibly pop the circuit breaker we don't want to do that it's not recommended but again remember if you are lighter and let's say the grass isn't as soft this is pretty soft grass it's maybe going to be due for a cut soon so there's a lot of factors to consider but overall the XLS and the XL, uh, or I'm sorry, the XL and the XLS HD are not really considered off-road machines, and we're moving down the list to even lighter products. So I don't think any of these are going to perform much better, to be honest. Let's see what happens though. This is the LT. It's the most affordable buzz around on the lineup. So it's going to have the smallest motor, the smallest wheels, pretty much everything on it's going to be smaller and it's not gonna have as many features. You don't have the built-in cup holder, the cell phone holder, but it is a solid scooter that lasts a long time if you take care of it. It's definitely not meant for off-road though. As you can see, it's basically doing the same thing that the XL and the XLS HD did, which is only making it up about a quarter of the way. So, same sentiment here as the last two models. If you need something for going off-road, this is probably not it. Sure, it can handle going up about a third of the way. So if you do need it to go on just small patches of grass and you're mainly gonna be on hard surfaces, it's a great scooter to consider, especially the XL and the XLS HD, which has the suspension for a smoother ride and it's gonna hold even more weight, which is another factor that makes that overall maximum incline rating that they give. So again, these are all pretty much rated for around six to eight degrees. The XL, um, the XLS HD, the LT, they're all about six degrees, which is an ADA requirement. All right, so the last scooter is certainly not the least. It's actually our top selling scooter on our entire website. The GB120, known as the Buzz Around Carry On. It's the only scooter that folds flat. You can take the seat off, fold the seat platform down, fold the tiller assembly down, and it's gonna take a height of about 12 inches. You can tilt and roll it into the trunk of your car. It's the only scooter that does that. You lift the front two wheels on the bumper of your car with the trunk open, grab it by the handles on the bottom, and tilt and roll it right in, like you see on the screen now. It's a really unique scooter, and it also has a four inch ground clearance, which is actually better than the last few scooters we went over. It's really lightweight though. It's not meant for off-roading. So I'm curious to see how it'll do with a 220 pound man like myself on it. Yeah, it's not going up the hill as expected. You gotta have realistic expectations with the scooters you purchase. Now I'm gonna try and go up away from some of the sand that was right there, have a little more momentum and see what happens. Same thing, it just topped out right here. In fact, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go up this hill and leave the scooters there where it pretty much stops on its own, meaning it can't take anymore. And let's look at the results that way. I feel like that's the most scientific approach we can take. All right, so here we are with the Buzz Around LT. Let's see what we could do. Oh, it went a little further. Come on. A little further. It went about, I'd say 10 inches further. So we're gonna leave it right there. That's the Buzz Around LT. All right, here we go. Buzz Around XL. Come on, come on, come on, go, go. All right, well, the Buzz Around XL, keep in mind the terrain types vary a little bit. This isn't a perfectly even test, but they're all around the same as far as the really lightweight travel ones go. All right, here we have the XLS HD. Let's see how it does. This is the XLS HD, come on. <laughs> About the same as the other ones. However, smoothest ride so far 
compared to the ones that we've done so far because it does have the suspension. All right, I'm putting my money on this pony right here. This is the Buzz Around Extreme, one of my personal favorites. Oh, we hit a little sand. Hold on. There's a lot of, oh, it's a dirt, little loose dirt pot right there. So let me, let me try this again. I'm going to go away from the uh, grass here a little bit or from the sandy parts. Sand, come on. Come on. Hey, that did pretty good. I mean, right here, you can see it's all like loose sand. So that's all right, though. We know it went further than the other models. Last but not least, the most heavy duty of them all, the Buzz Around LX. Check out that in-depth review video. You're going to love that one. We had a lot of fun on that one. Oh, I had the speed all the way on low. So all of these have a speed control knob. I had mine all the way towards the tortoise. So I need to get momentum to make it like the other test. So I'm putting it all the way up to the rabbit like the other ones were. Now I've got a little time to build up speed. Not much, but a little. Oh! <laughs> all right, there you have it, folks. They're starting to beep at me. They're letting me know they don't like the situation, and that's normal because we're beating these things up, trying to tell you what they're made of, what their, their thresholds are as far as their maximum limits. We don't recommend trying this at home. We just wanted to show you what would happen if we were to test all of their buzz around scooters on a steep incline like this one. So again, the LX 375 pound max weight capacity, the EX 350 pound max weight capacity, both available in a three and a four wheel are gonna be the best bets for going off road, the most powerful setups. Now here we have the XLS HD with the suspension, 325 pound weight capacity, whereas the XL has a 300 pound weight capacity, no suspension, and the LT is the most affordable bunch out of the 300 pound weight capacity buzz arounds. So this is gonna not really handle as well, just like the other two, and the carry-on, which is our top seller, is gonna kind of be the same in terms of what it can do going up hills and inclines. However, it's our top selling scooter for a reason. It has a lithium battery that goes up to 18 miles. You can opt in for an FAA TSA friendly lithium battery, which is gonna give you a little less distance, but it can go on an airplane no problem. And I just love how unique it is when it comes to storing it in the trunk of a car because people like taking their scooters places. You can also easily go on a plane with it cruise line we have videos of both scenarios showing you what it's like to travel what to expect as far as paperwork approval process everything so if you want to check that video out click right there where it says airplane experience and it'll take you to that video we also have a cruise line video where we take you on a cruise with that exact model we have tons of videos on all of these products so make sure you check the playlists out with the description links below so now that we've made it to the end of this video, I just want to personally say thank you for staying tuned to the end. And I did tell you, if you stay tuned, I tell you how to enter our monthly giveaway raffle. And it's really easy. All you have to do is leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. We randomly select one lucky subscriber. We reply to their comments. It could be you next month, like the last few winners on your screen. Now, all they did was subscribe, they commented, and they were selected to win a free powered mobility product. So. Do us a favor, subscribe, like, share this video, tell other people about it that you think might need a mobility scooter so they can join the raffle too. Again, my name's Sergio with Mobility Direct. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't try this stuff at home, folks. Until next time, everybody, have a great day. Take it real soon.